Yo, what's up everybody? It's the GOAT, and here's a quick TDM gameplay here. Run him with the Galil, Silenced, and Scavenger. And this is a different class setup than I normally use. I mean, you guys see me, I'm always using Flak Jacket. And I post, uh, pretty much all I play is Ground War. So, I wanted to upload a TDM. It's Ground War TDM, but um, I'm not going to be using uh, Chopper during this game. And I'm also going to uh, be using the Silencer. And man, on a good connection, if you use a Silenced weapon, it is like ridiculous. Um... It still drops people relatively quickly, and one of the reasons I always uh, shied away from using a silencer is I almost like showing up on the mini-map, and here I just get caught mid-sprint. Um, these guys, they go right up into the warehouse hangar. One of the commenters said it's not called the hangar, it's called the warehouse, so I don't know what the heck it's called. I just know all the noobs just post up in there, so you guys are going to see me just consistently running up there, but... Back to the silencer, I almost never use it because I like to show up on the minimap, like I want to be in gunfights, I want enemies to know where I am, but when you do get into the spawn, I mean, having a silencer, and here's this guy hiding in a corner, there, there, there was another uh, low level like him, I, I don't know if he's new to the game or what, but they kept hiding in the um, dark corners, and I have a problem with that because the HDPVR only outputs on um, 720p, so the picture quality on uh, the game is like much worse than it, you know the regular 1080 that I think most people are playing on and with high definition televisions. And here they're all grouped up in here again, but um, I don't even see that guy hiding in the quarter. So yeah, on dark spots, especially with Modern Warfare 2. I went back and tried playing that the other night because I was going to tell you guys I was going to get a gameplay, but that game is just so, so frustrating, man. Um, I was just having a horrendous time. I mean, I was getting good scores and stuff, but I didn't really feel like I got anything upload worthy. And one of the things uh, with my channel, I ch kind of really had set high standards for myself and for my viewers. Like, I want to give you guys the best gameplay I possibly can. And sometimes it's tough because, like, I don't get that much. And here I just rush out there because I want to die to start my kill streaks over. I'm running 4 8 11, so it's a good time to die there and then hopefully get myself another pack of dogs before that game ends. But. Yeah, so I, I really try to, like, give you guys the best gameplay I possibly can, but sometimes, you know, if I just had a little more time, I could sit down and play for more time to get those gameplays, you know what I mean? So, with Modern Warfare 2, and here's another guy hiding fucking God knows where, but, um, and then this guy plants a claymore on top of me and blows me up. But, yeah, so, with Modern Warfare 2, um... I don't know if I'm going to be playing that game anymore, guys. I mean, during its time, it had a nice run, and I really liked the game. But after Black Ops, you just kind of see a lot of the issues of it. But one thing I will say, I mean, Modern Warfare 2 still graphically is better than Black Ops. And also, it just feels, like, crisp. You know, Black Ops feels good, but there's just something that's slightly off about it, you know? So, I mean, I love Black Ops all in all. I think it's a better Call of Duty for a number of different reasons, but, I mean, um, Modern Warfare 2, there's just too many broken parts about it, so, I mean, hopefully, I mean, now there is that one perk, uh, coming out in, um, Modern Warfare 2 that I wanted to talk about, I'm a little bit concerned about it, um, it basically combines the, um, powers of Flak Jacket and Tactical Mask, and, I'm not sure what it's called, you guys could probably, uh, tell me that in the comment section, but, I mean, in Modern Warfare 2, when I was playing, and I noticed it was a lot, like, uh, slower-paced feeling. Like, most, most people seem to play super defensive in the lobbies that I was in. And, uh, I mean, other than just relentless noob tubing. But, I mean, if you get a guy that's a pretty solid player, and he, um is using that flak jacket tactical mask and, you know, head glitching behind cover. I mean, he's now a pervious, and look at this guy in the corner. I could barely even see him. If it wasn't for the aim assist turned on, I wouldn't have gotten that tug, and I wouldn't even have known he was there. But, yeah, I mean, if you get a really good player that's pretty much camping it out and um, he's got his tactical mask, flak jacket pro, whatever the heck it's called on, I mean, he's pretty much impervious to everything. It's like a walking tank, so... I'm a little bit concerned about that all being built into one perk, but um, I don't know. Other than that, I'm really excited for Modern Warfare 3, and uh, yeah, I'll get you guys a gameplay out tomorrow. Peace.